In this video tutorial we are going to use a completely different method. An updated method to grant access and recover our device. What are we going to do in this video tutorial? We're going to use a different method, since in some of the in previous videos, we used what was a blocked SIM card with PIN code and from there we accessed our device, as well as the other thing we did. It was also done via PC. For those who are always attentive to our video tutorials, we recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial. This is what it's for. So you don't miss a single detail of everything. This recovery that we are going to do in this video tutorial, uh, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to explain. Before we reset our phone, we had a lock. of screen that we had forgotten. What we did was format. Our phone, the time we completely formatted our phone, was left. With this little padlock that we can see here on the upper left side, we were left with. That little padlock sometimes appears when we dial a number. In an emergency, Google Maps appears here. But this option is already available where we select it. Using your finger isn't working, so that's why we've created these methods. Different, uh, well, let's connect to a Wi-Fi network before we do. The recovery process. We connect, then we'll give it that whole tour and tell. To reach where our device has a lock. Of screen and finally it also has the forgotten Gmail account. For those who are always actively watching our, we want to recommend that YouTube has enabled us to create video tutorials. The members community session for those who want to support us. And if they want to subscribe to our community, what would be the benefit? We will be posting video tutorials in advance in that community. We will also be there, responding to those comments. We receive messages from the community. We will be responding to those comments so we can address them. To resolve any concerns that any subscriber may have as soon as possible. Okay, well, with that said, let's get to where that screen lock is. There are some cases where this is sometimes good here. That thing that happens when we reset our phone will always happen. Now it's asking us for the screen lock. Finally, it also asks for our Google account information. Sometimes we forget the screen lock but we don't know the Google account. If those people know that Google account, I'll give you the easiest way. Easy and quick way to power up your device without needing to watch the entire video tutorial. You're not going to see it, you're not going to see it completely. As we can see here, we have this screen lock that. It was the block we were left with after doing. The reset process here asks us to use my Google account. For those who know their Google account, you will do the following. They're going to add it to the email. Then they click next and they'll add the password and that way you. It will give you access to your device without so many complications. It would give you access without needing to watch the entire video tutorial until the end if you're not going to do it up to here, but if you don't know the email, here. It gives us two options, email or phone number. If you added to your email you, you will also be able to access their phone number this way. Write it. The phone number. But the phone number doesn't have to be added to this locked phone. We add it here, we add the phone number. We insert the SIM card into another phone and we would receive a recovery code. We write that recovery code and then give it the following settings. But let's just say this one doesn't know either of them. If you don't have the phone number, then you're going to click here where it says forget Gmail. You're going to write anything here, then click next. You can write anything here again, you can also click here below. You're going to do this for about 35 seconds. You're going to do this for about 35 seconds. After those 35 seconds have passed, we'll go back, we'll go backwards. We do this for those people who want to try other methods. 
We've also included other different methods in the video description or in. The first comment is pinned so we can find a solution and recover our device. Okay, let's do this for 30 seconds, all set. Previously we could also enter from here. From the dictator by voice, but these functions no longer work. We go back, we go back. One click back, one click back, now we click forward. We give you the last option here in the privacy policy. We go down to the last option, we click here on Motorola. While we're here, we click on the little ball here. Here, to this profile in the center, we click here on Google. Now we're going to click here where it says help, on this option that says help. We click on it, now what we're going to do is the following. As you can see, the magnifying glass and the letters are here. We're going to click on the magnifying glass letter by letter, click on the magnifying glass letter by letter. We're going to do it quickly, we're doing it fast, we're doing it fast here. We're going to click here where it says share, we're going to click here on message. New message, we write anything. We'll click here, we're going to click here, we're going to click on the little camera. We'll give him all the permissions, we'll take the photo. Let's take the picture. We give you the arrow to join. Let's see what happened, here it is. We click on it, select the image, and then click here on share. This is the Google Maps option we see here. Let's select this Google Maps option and it will take us to Google Maps. We're going to click here on skip, we'll give it all the permissions. We click cancel, we click back, we say yes. And now we're meeting here on Google Maps. As you can see here, we're going to enter this way from Google Maps. We're going to give it the ball, we're going to go into settings. Notifications, we activate notifications, we go back. Backward notifications are enabled again. Location, we click here on OK. Accessibility here. We have enabled this accessibility menu. We go back here where it says location setting. From Google, we'll give it to you here. In all three dots, show system, here we see the Google services, now we're going to write in the magnifying glass battery. Battery we're going to write battery we're going to erase letter by. Okay, first battery, we're going to write accessibility. We type accessibility, we click here on the accessibility menu. We have enabled this accessibility menu. It's already enabled, we go back, back. Now we write battery. Let's click here where it says app battery usage. We automatically select the option indicated here. Let's go find the Google Play services here and click on disable them. It's already disabled, now we're going to restart our phone. We will restart our phone once it has completely restarted. What we are going to do is complete the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. This is the step to troubleshoot and recover our device. We'll wait for it to start, once our phone has started up correctly. What we're going to do is configure our device. This will take us directly to the home page. 
Let's wait. Let's wait for them to start now. Let's wait until it takes us to the next section. We're going to click here where it says accept. And continuing here would take us as far as the screen shows us here. Blinking, here we go. It's going well, in some cases that usually happens. You're not going to click here where it says continue offline. You click accept, this screen will be flashing here. That's exactly where we want to be, eh? Another thing I want to recommend is that when we finish the process, after recovery at the end of the video, our device is left with the screen. It's not working properly, or what application is still failing. Or the phone becomes very slow. I'm going to explain one of the easiest ways to correct all these errors. How are we going to fix it? Watch the video tutorial step by step until the end. As we said at the beginning of the video, in the video description and in the first, we have other, completely different methods, as per the pinned comment. Updated method, PC method, and method. Without a PC, we're going to click here, then we're going to click here where it says accessibility. Then we're going to click on this magnifying glass. Here we go. Write battery battery, let's write battery sorry. Then we're going to click here where it says battery usage, the option that we pointed out to you, and here we'll look for Google Play services. Now we're going to enable those Google services. Play and here we'll gently go back. Gently backwards, gently, gently. If you have any SIM cards entered here, I recommend you remove them. Remove the SIM card, now you're going to click on continue offline. Accepting and continuing here would take us to Google services. We click accept, we click skip. We click on skip, we say not now, not now, not now and not now. We click next here. By finishing like this, we would be finalizing the recovery process. As we mentioned, we had some errors here. How do we correct these errors? We're going to go to settings here, we're going to go to about phone. Here, regarding the phone, we'll go here to the system. We'll go here to the system and in the system you'll see this option. To reset now what we're going to do is reset our phone. Completely that when you reset it, hema, you'll be free of any errors. Phone, a device free of any errors.